so let's start the packaging so here is the label here is the two cells you can see the order details are printed on each the cell with the buyer name and the order id and here is the buyer's order statement and here is our feedback form okay. so all these three are with us now let's take some packaging material and start packaging so for packaging we have taken the thermocol sheet you can see it's a 16 mm sheet it will protect your your items from damage we have a two inch tape and we have a secure seal bag it's a polymailer bag uh, it is the size of 6 is to 8 okay so let's start the packaging we have to put it in the either side and take a piece of thermocol and what we have to do first we have to tape the thermocol from one side we have to measure the thermocol and pack it like this first layer is pasted another one and paste it another. now you can measure it is properly measured that two tapes can easily cover the thermocol what we require for packaging of these cells now we take a blade and cut from the edge through which we have pasted our tape so we have to cut it and you can see this piece is now independently bended you can see now you can bend as much as you like and it will not break so you can see you can bend the thermocol easily so now we have to take one cell and the second one and also we have to put a thermocol sheet in between these two cells just because they can crush or uh, touch each other so what we have to do we have to measure the size of this thermocol and cut from here so we got a piece of small thermocol here and just we have to place the cells and in between we have to put this thermocol and just bend it like this and from the another side you can see it is bended easily and now we have to cut it from here so let's cut it from here this is a evidence video as well just because there are so many frauds are going on on amazon so we are making this for buyers fraud video as well to prove or prove it ourselves so here you can see now just put it like this so here is the smart packaging done okay now what we have to do we have to cut these four pieces to put in here so we have to measure in a random way and cut it like this okay in four pieces like this we have to insert it in the cell and flip it and insert it like this okay. now it is almost done and let's put some cellophane wrap on it so we use this green cellophane wrap it is an organic cellophane and it will decompose easily we are not using pure plastic cellophanes 
we are only using these green type of cellophanes these are good for environment so what we have to do we have to just wrap it here it will shrink automatically if you place it hardly so like this. it will shrink and be pasted like a glue or you can say tape like this so finally we got a fully tagged item now now let's measure the weight of this so now we have our weighing scale let's turn it on you can see now the raw weight of the packaged item is about 292 grams now let's put it either side and take the piece of this packaging material for our reference we always paste the name of the item which we get in our orders so while packaging more than 20 or 30 items we have an idea which item we are packaging so we have to fold it like this so that it can easily be pasted here like this you can create a template like this we have uh, done a watermarking on words format so that easily our website is also visible and customers are visiting our websites from Amazon referral now what we have to do we have to put a India post label you can uh, if you are doing it on a regular basis you can take it from your local post like this it is a label what we get from our local post office just because we are a regular customer from last 15 years so we have this arrangement so we have to finalize all the items from our home so let's put the india post label here it's a speed post ems label now what we have to do we have to tape it properly remember that you have to paste all the details properly because there are so many restrictions in India Post and India Post guys if you are going for the first time on the India Post India Post guys will ask you that you have not fulfilled this requirement or this requirement and you have to put it like this so always try to make a smart packaging and foolproof packaging that they will not raise any question on it and now as you can see the label is packed now now on the back side of the pouch we will fold our invoice and place the invoice on the back side of this envelope like this and just unstick this and take it out okay now uh, just just because uh, it can be damaged so we will place another piece of tape so that invoice will not misplace from here just because on india post there is a many mismanagement and mishandling now what we have to do we have to place this as is easily going on now just for protecting our item from liquid and any other outside particles we just place another tape create a vacuum seal like this now 
you can see our packet is overall packed like a vacuum Here you can see no air a little bit of air no but most of the air is taken off you can see the packet is looking good now what we have to do we have to tear this seal and paste it here uh, one advantage uh, while doing the post through india post that volumetrics is a, a non negligible item so you can ignore the sealing of like this when we packaging with the courier we are putting the items like this so in india post you can pack it like a same as we always pack in the secure seal bag in a proper manner you can see this label is visible and the packaging is done now now finally we take the measure of our final packaging weight Here you can see it is 303 grams and just for our reference we put it here like it is a 303 grams of packet okay so here here is the example how you can perfectly pack any e-commerce or amazon ebay or any website misho packet in a proper manner while doing a postal entry thanks for watching our video do like to subscribe our channel thanks for watching